Hello. What are the objectives of this all organizations? Say, if we talk about Tata, if we talk about Apple, if we talk about Microsoft, SpaceX, Facebook, uh, Amazon, Alibaba. What are their objectives? Do they talk about uh, society? Uh, do they talk about uh, profit? Uh, what are the aims? What are the tasks? Basically, uh, we know management is all about the final target profit and growth. Hello and welcome to the lecture series of Principle of Management for Semester 5 EC. And we are running with unit number one. I am your course instructor, Motion Pandit. In previous session, we uh, saw definitions and characteristics of management. And now we will be talking about objectives of management. Basically, objectives are derived from the definition, and actually, objectives help deriving characteristic of management. So, what are the objectives of management? See, there are three broad spectrum. Like the one is uh, organizational objectives, uh, another is uh, social, and the employees, those who are working there, their personal objective. And definitely, uh, the objectives. A personal objective should align with the organizational objectives and this work together definitely serve the society and uh, we will uh, go uh, one by one uh, for the objectives. The first one is optimization of sources, resources like uh, man, material, machine and money. So this all parameters if optimized and utilized, that will definitely lead to the profit. Uh, next is business growth and development. So definitely there are three functions, planning, organizing and direction. These are the three functions of a management that we will study in the forthcoming session. And if they are synchronized, they will definitely lead to the growth and development of an organization. Uh, growth in the sense, in not only in the sense of profit, like an organization should get mature. Like from starting, starting from a small organization, it goes to a middle-sized industry, and it, it 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 grows to the large organizations in every sense in terms of say profit in terms of sales in terms of number of employees in terms of the the reach to the market okay next is better quality of goods and services basically product product can be a tangible product product can be a non tangible product like if you if you talk about uh, a, 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 a bottle of sauce so that is a tangible product and if you talk about uh, the banking services, so that is intangible product. So management has another objective to deliver better quality of goods and services to the market. Better quality products at minimum cost. Okay. And next will be ensuring the same better quality products and services on the regular basis of the supply. So in this case, definitely an entire team will do a demand forecasting of the product in the market. And based on the demand forecasting of the product, like say any goods and services, the manufacturing or the uh, production center will be uh, planning for the next production run 
and according to the supply of the product within the permissible price limit like it should be affordable and affordable and within the specific time limit is to be delivered to the market otherwise uh, uh, a better quality good or services will lose their importance from the market another objective is discipline and moral in the organization so in the, this case managers are are given decentralized and delegation of the power like authority is delegated plus the managers we will we will definitely see in the next session that there are three levels of management like top management middle level management and lower level management and under them there are work class or levels so at every level a discipline and the moral moral of the uh, entire organization is to be looked in so authorities are delegated to the different level of management and plus motivation motivation means positive and negative motivation uh, maybe uh, most of the time it is associated with the uh, money but not only monetary monetary and non monetary incentives will work as motivation this both together like uh, authorized instructions and the motivation that will that will create a very good culture in the organization so discipline moral is one of the objective of management mobilizing best talent like why should one join an organization like if say one computer engineer or if an it engineer is given chance to make choice of his uh, employer so definitely they will they will talk about google or they talk about say uh, microsoft or ibm why because they have a brand and the brand is not created overnight the best talent wants to work with a better organization so what do we need for that i mean for this objective better pay skills better amenities and growth potential see the personal objective of employee must be aligned with the objective of organization like say personal goals and organizational goals and if if an employee cannot see growth potential where he is working right now he will definitely start looking for another option so you have to attract better person as your employee if you are if you are an organization okay and with this both better payment amenities and growth potential and the better talented person that will definitely enhance the productivity efficiency and effectiveness both will come together and that will give you better production yes this one of the very much important promotion of r&d research and development and you know larger organizations employ an amount of monetary and non monetary resources behind just are you 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 look at the example of samsung you look at the example of google like whatever product right now we are using they are being researched they are being developed in the laboratory and one find that they come to the market and they say we have this new product for you and that will definitely give lead over competitors and and uh, and, and mitigate uncertainties on the market and what is the benefit benefit is to organization benefit is to employees and benefit is to the market customers and this way a very latest technology comes to the society we have we have uh, a very uh, uh, good example uh, today i am making this video on 21st of october 
2020. Samsung has launched that foldable screen phone with with extraordinary features. So this is one example of RM. Even there are fields of AI and machine learning where lots of research and development is going on and and definitely that will change the world actually it is changing the world and and samsung is taking lead over other competitors there was a time when nokia was uh, the supreme uh, uh, supplier in the cell phone market and now and number of mobile suppliers but samsung is uh, doing lots of you know uh, R&D. Another example is from Elon Musk uh, handling SpaceX or uh, Gigabyte battery uh, plant. They are also coming up with the new and new technologies. And uh, this is the example of promotion of research and development. That is one of the very uh, major and you know like uh, uh, fruitful objective of many. With these all objectives, the risk, see every business contains risk. There are uncertainties, as we saw in the previous slide, where to mitigate the uncertainties of uncertainties of the future. And for that, previous experience and current existing circumstances. If we uh, use our previous experience, and combining with the current circumstances, that will definitely minimize the risk. And this way, another objective comes on the board that is improvement of the performance. Whose performance? Whose performance? Performance of employees, performance of uh, production, performance of cell phones, performance of uh, data analysis, everything. So, for that, first of all, there are certain factors. Various factors of the productions are to be fixed. Quality, quantity, the way production is being done, uh, say arranging assembly line or delivering the uh, services, say for example at bank, non tangible products. And each and every factor of the production shall be improved. And this way, workers will be able to contribute at their maximum potential for the enterprise so everyone will grow and improvement of performance has become one of the major objective of the medical the next is planning the future plants are always there plants are always there. but what kind of plants like it cannot be uh, you know uh, unrealistic plans but prospective planning will definitely lead to a better future performance again and again the risk of mitigation of uncertainty of the market we don't know what condition comes uh, on the way and entire industry has to change over so planning are very short term planning or it can be long term planning and definitely uncertainties of future must be mitigated. So let us conclude. Let us conclude our session. The one is maximum output. So getting maximum results with the minimum effort. Increasing efficiency and production. Maximum prosperity for employer and employee. Most of the time, as I say, it's all about money, but better pay skills and amenities and growth potential. The human betterment and social justice. Like experts get a specific place in organization. Other way around, skilled person get employment. And this way, society runs on a good economy. So this was a session for objectives of management and uh, we will stop here in our 
upcoming session we will be looking at the level of management and difference between management and administration for the unit number 1 that we are running thank you thank you so much